Hello everybody and welcome to the newly demonetized Ghost Critic channel. Not that I'm bitter about it at all. Um, it was a big week of comics this week. If for me on my pull list, I don't remember the last time I had this many books on my pull list. 12 of them, the Dirty Dozen, are back. Um, there's some really great stuff that I'm looking forward to this week. and I'll be showing you those in just a second. Um, just to let you know that this Friday, because it's the last Friday of the month, you'll get to see me talk about the things that I do that are not necessarily comic book made uh, or, you know, in that genre as I talk about music, TV and movies, and I'll probably throw in a few graphic novels in there as well. Yes, the second um, part of oh, this month I have been mostly, the February edition comes out this Friday, so please, if you're not subscribed and you want to find out what else I do apart from read comic books all the day long, then uh, hit the subscribe button and uh, look out for that on Friday evening, a British summer time or winter time, whatever we're still on at the moment. Um, thank you to everyone who watched my Sunday video of all my uh, thoughts and opinions, the comic book review video uh, from last week's comics. It's always great to hear, hear your opinions see your thumbs up and they're telling me that you like the videos. Um, don't forget share these videos around you know maybe I might get my YouTube partner program back um, I was nowhere near I was nowhere near even in minutes um, and hours I was probably about halfway to what they expect me to be but hey doing this for seven years on this platform means nothing now I'm not bitter I'm really not Let's talk about the comic books I got on my pull list, all 12 of them, and we're kicking off this week with the penultimate issue, issue 25 of Department H from Dark Horse Comics from Matt Kint and his wife Charlene. Um, I just love this book. Um, I don't think it's captured the exact magic that I felt with mind management, but it's a completely different kind of story. Uh, so perhaps I should have put on another hat to read it. Uh, not that I haven't enjoyed it. I've liked the murder mystery element. I've liked the kind of survival adventure element to it. Um, just the whole mystery of what's going on on the surface. Uh, and just the great um, artwork in here between Matt and Charlene, all these kind of crazy uh, giant turtles and the mythology and all that with the with the um, aquatic life there as well. It's just been really fun to read. If you've not read Department H, it's a bit late now, uh, but you can certainly pick these up in uh, trade and you'll have a really great story to read in one go. Uh, one from DC and I'm quite upset about this because I just read this morning uh, Peter Tomasi let us know that Super Sons is being cancelled the last issue I believe is out in May I don't know why well I do clearly know why it probably wasn't selling as much as they wanted it to uh, which is a shame because it's a damn fine fun entertaining bright youthful book and it just seems everybody wants to have seriousness though. They don't want to have fun anymore. They just want to complain and be serious and have all this dark grittiness. Um, this was a, a, a bright shining light within all that murkiness and it's a shame that people won't pick up the bright stuff. They just want an ambulance going by. <laughs> yes, I'm I'm very, very sad to see this go. Uh, Marvel made up a little, uh, quite a bulk of my books this week, and this week sees the start of uh, Doctor Strange a Damnation mini event series that's going on in the Strange Universe uh, by Nick Spencer, Donny Cates, and who's on the art? Rod Rees. I'm not aware of his art. But it's, um, it's a quick look at that there. Um, 
kind of a, a painterly style to that. Um, so I'm interested to see where that's going. As I've said in previous videos, I'm only picking up this mini series and the regular Doctor Strange storyline. I believe what's on the back, it did have a, a kind of a checklist. It does go into Ben Reilly, Scarlet Spider. Um, apparently it goes into Iron Fist and it looks like there's kind of a one shot of uh, Johnny Blaze Ghost Rider as well. Um, but more than likely I'll only pick up the two titles. Um, I'm sure it won't spoil my story reading at all. Uh, the last part of Garth Ennis and uh, Goran Pavlov's The Punisher... The Platoon, which has been a great little mini-series going back to uh, Frank Castle and his days in the army, um, leading his first platoon and this um, this woman out for revenge for her whole race. Uh, it's been really great, nice taut drama, war drama there, uh, uh, further fleshing out how Frank got to be as adept at um, being this kind of uh, one-man vigilante killing machine. Uh, we are one issue away from 600 for Daredevil, Charles Sewell and Ron Garney. Um, continuing this Mayor Fisk storyline, really enjoying this. Uh, I think uh, the two of them together have actually done a great job in balancing the, the super heroic side of it and the kind of lawyery courtroom side of it. There was a time when there was just way too much courtroom stuff, too much lawyering, and it started to go, ugh, I need to see some superheroes, I need to see some supervillains, uh, and this is what we've been getting back to here uh, with the most kind of lawyery courtroomy type of uh, story, or oh, should have been storyline that there was with Mayor Fisk, I don't know, but I'm really enjoying it. Uh, issue 8 of this maxi series again by Charles Sewell. It's uh, Astonishing X Men. I kind of feel that this has perhaps dropped a touch uh, in this new story arc uh, with the introduction of this supposedly younger version of Professor X, purely just called X. Um, this is great just to have um, all these different artists on every single issue. This month we've got Paolo Squera. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. Um, so hopefully, I'm hoping this will kind of lift up a little uh, storyline wise. Uh, the artwork has always been fun uh, and they've picked some really great people to um, join Charles Sewell on this 12 issue uh, kind of maxi adventure, I guess you'd call it. Uh, the rest are from, from Image and just a reminder to those people who may not have seen, I, I got this flyer while I was in here but it's about the new Jeff Lemire and Andrea Sorrentino's book Gideon Falls which it's, it's, gonna, it's the hot book for uh, March over at Image, it's a horror title, I am so down for this book, I've seen kind of screen caps of this. It looks fantastic. I'm very excited for this. I doubt this is going to be one that's going to let me down because it is Jeff Lemire. It is Andrea Sorrentino. They work together on, um, well, they've got Green Arrow and Old Man Logan, but I'm sure they worked on something else that I really, really enjoyed. And I can't remember what it is now, but if you want a good book to come out and start on, that's going to be it. Uh, Redlands is back. Uh, Jodie Belair and Vanessa Del Rey. Uh, they're kind of witches slash police detective story um, down in, I guess you call it the bayou. Um, and it's kind of got all that kind of witchcraft um, the the kind of myths and fables of the swampland um, and throw in some kind of murderers along the way. It's taken some getting used to, um, getting involved with the characters, uh, but there's a so there is a solid storyline behind there, and I'm kind of 
getting on board with this now so let's see where the next story arc is going to take us they had a little bit of a a break before bringing this out um this seems to have only just come out and i know they took a long hiatus but i'm not complaining marjorie lou and son of takeda's monstrous the um, kind of high a fantasy world of kind of demons, humans, anthropomorphic type characters, uh, but it's been um, it, it's very immersive. It's very um, it's very wordy. Uh, there's a lot taken, not just visually, which is always gorgeous, but textually as well. There's a hefty story to this that you kind of have to keep on top of. There's a few kind of stray threads. Well, not stray, but there's like threads going all over the place, which are all obviously all going to come together, but they feel very disparate at the moment. Um, and you kind of forget who is the good guys and who were the bad guys uh, but still loving monstrous what a cover on uh, maestros this week uh, that is fantastic if you want to get a closer look at that follow me on my twitter feed not long after i'll have uploaded this i'll put all the covers up for you to look at um, of course it's at ghost critic uh, but this is issue five of steve scrows dave stewart's uh, again it's a kind of fantasy but this is more your kind of your orcs and your elves and magic and all that kind of stuff and it's just over the top adult entertainment uh, because yes it is kind of bawdy it is um, sexually explicit at times but it's just done so well and with such good humour I love this book it's fantastic um, we got one of those Lazarus source books this week I picked the first one up the second one unfortunately didn't get uh, picked up for me and I've never seen it since um, but he seems to remember the third one this literally when it says it's a source book it is a source book it is just like pages and pages of text which um, it, it's just fas fascinating when you get round to reading it in like small batches and it's just shows how much um, Greg Rucker has thought about this world and the families that it resides in. This source book is for the uh, Vasilovka family who we talked about and what was my pick of the week uh, last week for the uh, Lazarus X plus 66 book. This is the family that kind of birthed their um, dragon character which is just a fascinating uh, and fantastic character in and of himself but um, that's going to take me a while to read through. Yay! Uh, talking about Jeff Lemire, he's back now with Descender. They had the kind of huge um, mini event, huge mini event. <laughs> uh, they had their uh, their event where the robots took over the world again, um, and we're going to see how that all kind of falls out. What the fallout from all that is now with our new story arc, but. Love this book, great sci-fi, um, and obviously it's Jeff Le it's Jeff Lemire writing it, and Dustin Nugent doing some great art that you don't really expect from a sciencey book. Um, to be honest, the book that I'm most looking forward to, and it's I don't even know how to explain what this book is about, or or even you know the premise of it really. It's Brandon Graham's Multiple Warheads. It's an oversized. Uh, slightly oversized one kind of magazine format it's uh, 48 pages long so you're paying that extra bit for it but I am in love with Brennan Groan's art and his storytelling I kind of see him as a sort of beatnik jazz version of a comic book writer um, because it is very kind of offbeat storytelling and his artwork is uh, uh, sometimes it's vastly empty but at the same time there are these incredibly detailed cityscapes and he's the master of the easter egg you have to pour over each page to grab every single little thing that's going on there isn't just the kind of the main storyline going on you've also got these kind of like 
tiny, really inconsequential things going on in the background, but they just make the world feel more real because it feels like things are going on around these people having their own adventure. So, they are my comic books this week. Again, very looking forward to looking at that. I don't know how I am going to get a video for Sunday um, telling you what I actually thought of all those books, but I will do my darndest for you. Um, as always, thank you for the support for my channel that you give me. Uh, if you're not yet subscribed and you want to keep watching my videos, then hit the red button. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and down in the comment section below let me know what else you've been picking up this week. I hope you enjoy all the books that you're reading and uh, I will see you soon, probably Friday. Bye bye.